Hey YouTubers, I just wanted to drop a quick review of the Royobi 5452 8-inch saw on YouTube. Hopefully it'll help somebody else out that may be looking to buy one. Um, I bought this um, a little over a year ago with the intention of using it to prune some crepe myrtles. I've got two crepe myrtles down at the street that have, um, well the canopy is about 25 feet high and about 20 foot wide and if I don't prune them every two or three years, they get up into the power lines. So um, I thought this would be great to use uh, to prune the crepe myrtle, but I didn't like the way it cut. Um, well, I guess I should have expected this, but it cuts like a chainsaw, and so it leaves a rough, jagged cut, and it tends to peel off bark near the cut. And uh, so that just wasn't gonna work for me for pruning. And so uh, I went back to using my reciprocating saw with a wood cutting blade, like I always have. But I have found that this thing does come in handy. Uh, I've got a lot of woods around the house and things that are too big to cut with loppers, but too small to justify getting out my full-size chainsaw, this thing's just right. It fits that little niche in between loppers and chainsaw. Um, now they make a 10 inch model that has an oil chamber in it and lubricates the blade. This does not, and I actually prefer that. My big chainsaw always leaks bar oil. As soon as I fill it up and use it and I put it back in the case, the next time I take it out, there's a half inch of oil in the bottom of the case. It's always done that. I've replaced several parts on it. It just does that. So having one that doesn't leave a puddle in market's territory is kind of nice. Um, all I do occasionally is uh, I'll pull the chain off and sharpen it up and clean it off real good with uh, gasoline or some other solvent and then uh, just douse it in motor oil and put it back on and it's good to go and uh, i don't worry too much about lubricating it but you could carry a can of um, lithium grease or spray grease or oil of some kind with you and just hit the chain every few minutes um, if you feel like it needs it now like most full-size chainsaws it comes with a little scrunch here screwdriver wrench that you use to remove this cover or to loosen this or remove the cover and to adjust the chainsaw tension so that works just like a regular chainsaw uh, it's pretty small it's lightweight and the great thing about this is unlike my full-size chainsaw when i go to use it i know it's going to run and so uh, i've got some some little trees that have fallen down and a couple of trees that are growing in places i don't want them and it doesn't quite justify my big chainsaw and it's definitely too much for the loppers, so I'm gonna pop a battery in this and use it a little bit and uh, make a video to share with you guys so you guys can get a feel for what it does. Okay, I've got a, a pretty big lawn and then there's woods and a, I've got a little kind of buffer zone in between that I like to keep pretty clear. And uh, I've got a few of these little sweet gum trees popping up here that I've let get a little bit too big. And uh, that thing's probably, oh, I don't know, maybe three inches across at the trunk. Uh, definitely not something you can cut with loppers, and it's really not worth the hassle of getting out the big chainsaw. So uh, let's take it down with this. Alright, here's another one of these annoying sweet gums. Let's get this out of here. As you can see that's probably about two and a half, three and a half inches across. And
So clearly this is not a substitute for a real chainsaw, but it does fill a little gap between using a handsaw or pruners and a full-size chainsaw. And so this is really handy when you don't want to have to get out the big chainsaw for a big job. You just got a little job. And uh, this is great. And like I say, no bar oil to fool with. You don't have to worry about whether or not it's going to start. Just pop a fresh battery in it and go. Um, I don't know how long it runs on a battery. I've never used it enough to run a battery dead. So it runs a pretty good while. Um, and if you're already in the Royobi One Plus system, uh, this is fairly inexpensive, and if you enjoy working in the yard, it might be a tool that works for you. I don't know if I would jump into the Roy Obi system for this alone. Uh, I think they have a new model out now that's, uh, in addition to the 10-inch model, I think they have a new one out now with a brushless motor in it. So if you need something kind of heavy-duty, that might be the way to go. But I picked this up uh, on sale. I don't remember what I paid for it, but it was under 100 bucks, And uh, it comes in real handy. I've gotten a lot of use out of it, and it saves me a lot of work. Uh, not having to use a handsaw on little projects. Uh, like I say, I, I don't love it for pruning. It leaves kind of a rough edge and tends to peel the bark off a little bit. But for cutting down things you want to get rid of, this guy's great. So I hope you found this helpful. Please like and subscribe if you did. Thanks.